guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Brandy and I'm the owner of Trinity Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful honeycomb tray. Um, it is made of glitter and epoxy and some alcohol ink and it's just really fun and just thinking about spring coming. So keep on watching and I'll show you how to make this. This is an old tray that I found in my mom's basement while we were doing some cleaning and I'm just going to sand it down and get it cleaned up so I can um, get the base paint coated. Um, you can use any tray like this. This is just one that I happened to find and wanted to make something pretty. I like the flower design on it, but it was faded and it wasn't really doing anything for me, so I decided to make it even better. Um, so. You just want to sand it down very well and then I took a, some rubbing alcohol and paper towel and kind of wiped it off and got it all cleaned up and we're ready for some paint. So as soon as the alcohol was dry um, I'm just using some basic acrylic paint, just the gold color, and I'm going to just kind of brush it on. Um, this is going to act as our base color. Um, it's just, you know, covering up the design, making sure that the glitter is going to work well with this. So I'm just going to cover it, and after it's dry, I'll show you the next step. Now that the acrylic paint is dry, I am going to use some epoxy and we're going to do the epoxy method for the glitter. Um, so here I'm just going to um, put a good coat down and I'm not really sure how much this took. I just kind of eyeball it, but we're going to get enough on there and lay it down, get it smooth, and then we're going to throw some glitter on top of it, which is probably the funnest part. Tutorial. All right, so now that the epoxy is applied, we are ready to throw down some glitter. So this is Honeycomb by Glitter Chimp. It is the best color to do anything honeycomb related. So we're just going to sprinkle it over the tray and just get it nice and covered and this glitter sparkles like none other. It is the best gold color. I've made a couple of honeycomb cups and by far nothing beats this. And isn't that just satisfying? <laughs> the waterfall of the glitter going down. Something to remember with larger mixes of glitter, um, less epoxy will be needed if you pack it down. Um, I just took some parchment paper and kind of pressed down in some spots that were sticking up. It just saves you time and you don't have to sand as much, um, less coats of epoxy, so you're saving more money. Um, you can do this on your cups too, I highly recommend it if you're using any type of chunky glitter. But there were just a few spots on here that were steaming up and I just wanted to ensure that this project could be done fast and efficiently.
it set overnight and now it is time to apply the first coat of epoxy over top of our glitter. Um, I use probably um, 120 milliliters. Um, even then I still had to go into a second coat just because there were some areas that didn't take very well to it with your chunky glitter. Sometimes you need to seal it. Um, I did spray outside with um, some clear coat spray, but it was cold and I did it fast. I think I missed a few spots, but that's okay. Um, I just did two coats of epoxy and we'll let it dry. And then I was ready for my decal. So I'm just going to tape off all of the wood surrounding um, our glitter design. This is to ensure that no spray paint gets on the um, actual design where it's not supposed to be or on the outside. So as soon as I'm done with that, we're going to lay down some decals. Um, the honeycomb shapes I have cut with my Cricut and I'm just going to cut out random clusters of them and put them on the tray and something that I've learned about honeycombs is the point is always towards the very top. Um, this is just how all hives are made so keep that in mind if you want it to be um, I guess like true like honeycomb. So, I just cut out a couple of shapes, I'm going to use my transfer tape to lay it down where I want, and there's no rhyme or reason to this, you can do as many as you want. Here you can see I have the first cluster of honeycombs ready to go. I am looking for my um, my scraper to burnish it over onto the transfer tape so I can place it. And it's taken me a minute because it was hiding. <laughs> you can see that I have a bunch of just random clusters, some individual ones placed, and I'm just going to transfer them over, and there you go. Got them all transferred, um, laid down how I want them, make sure that they're all pressed down. Complete 
optional step. However, whenever you're doing like a peekaboo design, um, I like to use, I like to use, sorry about that, um, they're called Nouveau Drops. Um, I'm just putting a dot on all of the honeycombs. And whenever I spray paint over and then I use my alcohol ink, it just shows me where it's at because it sticks up kind of like braille. Um, and I can tell where my honeycombs are so I know where to peel and where not to peel. So you can do this, you don't have to, some people use hot glue, but I don't like the string of hot glue. So this just tends to make it easier for me. Um, they dry pretty, pretty quickly, it's kind of like puff paint honestly, so just a little trick I've learned when doing peekaboo designs. all the drops down and everything is dry so I have spray painted over my design um, you can see the little bumps you can kind of see the vinyl but it just really helps so I have alcohol ink that I'm working with and some of those makeup sponges and just a couple little containers to put my alcohol ink in so I'm going to chop up the ends of the makeup sponges just so it's not like a perfect square. Um, it kind of gives it, you know, like the, it's just a different texture. I don't really know how to explain it, but I don't want it to be perfect, so that's why I'm kind of tearing them up to make them look better. Don't forget the gloves when you're working with alcohol ink. Um, I've learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> I've had alcohol all over my hands stained for days. So we're going to take some of the ink and um, I have Tim Holtz and looks like some pinata. We're just going to squirt some in the little bowl and just kind of tap away. And so I'm going to do this color and then I'm going to go over it with the other color and it kind of gives us that honeycomb. Alcohol ink is dry. Um, I have my little pen, um, it's a weeding pen, and I'm gonna start pulling up the uh, decals so I can show you the honeycomb. 
and you'll go through the whole tray doing this. Um, it takes quite a while. I used Oracle 651, but you can use Tinsel Vinyl. It should make it a little bit easier. I should have used Tinsel Vinyl, I just didn't have any. So I'm going to go through the whole tray and do this step. So this is our tray with all of the Oracle 651 pulled up exposing the honeycombs. I'm just doing a you know, clean up on it making sure there's no debris because this is our last step but I'm going to be putting down the last final coat of epoxy. So um, I am going to be using a additive which is uh, from Glitter Chimp and it's called Machine Gun Kelly. It's going to give me just some sparkle, nothing to take away from the design, but I like glitter, so I decided to add that in. So a little goes a long way, and um, as soon as that is on there, we're going to take our torch, and I'm going to pop all the bubbles, and then we're just going to let it cure, and then we will be done. Here is our final product. The honeycomb glitter just shines in the sunlight. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching my tutorial. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask them below. And as always, like and subscribe. Thank you.